Welcome back my friends. Hashtag pineapple challenge from Mick Watson. These are my two pineapples and I've brought them up to the plot now in the polytunnel. It's nice and warm. Uh, the one on the right has got uh, a good set of roots on it. One on the left not quite sure at the moment. But they're uh, doing really well. And I've been doing something a bit unusual. A bit silly, nutty. I've been chitting my cabbage seeds. Struggling to get the greyhound and the Savoy cabbage to uh, grow. So I decided to chit them. They do chit quite quickly. And top left, one's popped through already. Some of these here, in the middle of the screen, it's already got its leaf on, but I don't need any more greyhound now. I've already got uh, a four, eight, 12. 12 of each would be plenty in the uh, cage. Grapes are doing nicely. Really, really well. So are the peppers. That's the Canabaro. Salad Festival. There we are in the middle of the screen there. Cucumbers, tomatoes, cucumbers, everything everywhere. Not sure about the chard indoors at the moment. It's getting marked. The stuff outside's doing a lot better. Lamb's lettuce. I've, what I've been doing now in the buckets, container growing, I've been actually repotting them on, not just thinning them out. They get a bit leggy and they don't seem to stand up, so I've buried them. So they're uh, a lot better. They're the uh, Mooley Minnow radishes, the long white ones. And I've put my sweet peppers now in the middle of the tunnel. There's a Diablo in the middle, another sweet pepper at the end. There's the lamb's lettuce there that's got to go outside. More sweet peppers and Diablos. So, <laughs> Savoy cabbage to the left, Greyhound cabbage to the right, out of nearly a packet of seeds. That's why I'm chitting them. Bit of slug damage on that one, so I've bought it inside. There's the Swedes. And they should be the turnips. No, they're mulled salad leaves. There's the turnips. I'll replace the one that rotted off with that one, and it's just getting on its feet now. Tiny Tim's in the middle of the po tiny. Bah. The tiny Tim's in the middle of the polytunnel. Doing really, really well. Courgette there in the middle of the screen. And Mick Watson's Bull's Blood beetroots having absolutely loads of uh, leaves off those. 100 days is on Wednesday so I'll be opening another pot up and looking back at the videos I put two potatoes in each bag but there was definitely only one in that so perhaps we had one rot off so it'll be interesting to see if I can find one that's got two horns coming out the bag to make sure I get a good what saying, but I'm going to harvest them anyway now. Uh, I've stopped the wife buying any more potatoes. That's the successional sowing of lettuce, ready for outside. And it looks like we've got three that have germinated and three haven't. Oh, I'm not going to germinate lettuce seed as well, am I? The polytunnel's n not as crowded. Every time I put something outside, I find something else. It's a successional sowing. It, you know, you just just have to have the room, and I'm just having to uh, make use of the space. I took the door off the uh, grow room because it started to uh, disintegrate again, like last year. Let's have a quick look outside. What I've been up to. 
I'm a nutty gardener, I am, I do things so different. The chard's looking really well. It's really liking these containers, I've not had much damage at all. These shallots are gone. These are the hashtag Sarpomira seeds. And these are the last of the Stuttgart onions. And I've stuck one of my big lamp covers uh, over four to see if that makes any difference. I've netted the potatoes now because they're always fine. We leave it to the last minute to net them. They all go dangly and to stop, hopefully stop some of the blight, I've uh, put the watering pipes in so they don't splash the leaves. I've done the same with the main crop as well but use the water bottles fruit bottles should we say this is the root bed without any roots well, I suppose you could call the radishes roots but we've got some butternut squash uh, courgettes and I'm thinking that they're going to be cucumbers nope more courgettes so successional sowing of the radish. These are ready. We actually had to buy a packet, so now I'm doubling up. So these were sown at the same time and I've got two more in the uh, grow room. Getting ready. But hopefully I can start getting the beetroots in here, those swedes and turnips and the other lampshades at this end of the root bed have got those potatoes that I found on hashtag starting new allotment it'll stop them flopping it might end up giving them uh, blight but I wanted to make use of those street lamp covers brassica cage the brassicas are looking really well. Um, I've had a little bit of a few little slug problems, so I've piled the eggshells around the bottom. Hopefully that will keep them uh, at bay. The ants built a nest down the stem of that one. It was all floppy because it flopped on the floor. The slugs got hold of it. Don't know whether that will uh, keep going. What I do, I keep lifting this tray up and hand picking the slugs. And that's the best way forward is to put lots of plates down somewhere for these slugs to go. Now I've been, this is what I was on about the lettuce. Uh, they're not in the pots very well. Um, I thin these out, just picking the lettuce, but you tend to pull the whole thing out. Deary, deary me, I've used three slug pellets, look. Slugs have been eating that. So I thought, well, I'll put three slug pellets in. And the slugs looked at it and disappeared. That's what it's supposed to look like. The other leeks are doing well. As are a lot of the successional sowing. Some more cabbages, I'm letting them grow a bit bigger before I put them in the ground. Whilst my friends, the uh, slugs will be having them. This is supposed to be a brassica cage. As you can see, hopefully loads of carrots. We'll move into the onion cage, where my carrots are growing. Told you I was nutty. I'm getting worse. So these are the red onions that are going to seed. Oh, some of them. So where the wooden label is, that's the ones that have gone to seed. So any ones that haven't, like the one in the middle of the screen, they're bulking out nicely. So I'm pulling the ones with the blue labels first, at the wooden labels first. Leaks are in. I use the bulb planter to make the holes. Chuck the leak in, fill it with water and that's it. They're the Muscle Borough, sowed on the 28th of January. Put the last of my carrots into here. 
And these are the sweet candle again. Now these will be overwintered. I'm leaving these in the boxes until I need them. So I should be harvesting these February, March, April, right up to when I actually sow some more. Harvest some more next year, shall we say. We'll see. We'll wait and see, see what happens. These were the most delicious broad beans we've had today for our Sunday lunch for absolutely ages. 12 months, actually. <laughs> no, they're really doing well. And the black fly is getting, keeps getting into them. I keep taking it out because they breed so quickly that you just can't keep up with it. And then they get all over your beans and done. These are the tiny Tims in the pipes. They're like a trailing tomato as well as uh, needing support. And the underground worm farms. I bet I won't see any today. Oh no, we've got some... Uh, Got some worms there, look. I feed these about once a week and then they wee and poo everywhere and feed me tomatoes. These supports are working really well. And we've got flowers. This cobra French bean being attacked by the slugs, I'll put some extra eggshells down it seems to be doing okay but i have been again hand picking the slugs from underneath and that's the best way forward i think the only thing i wanted to show you in the fruit cage was the blackberries that uh, this is where i dug them up from before i took them to plot one hashtag starting new allotment so i'm going to be taking some of these potting them up and see if they'll survive we're in the fruit cage and this is one of the peas and this hasn't been protected by coffee grounds or anything else and it's been absolutely nibbled to death but it's still got a pea pod on that's my first pea that's what the mice planted for me they are clever i've potted up a couple of jerusalem artichokes because uh, uh, if this chap does get a chance he's going to visit me on my plot um, just depends but I've planted those up just in case he does uh, get the time to uh, get and see me. Hashtag ugly parsnip challenge. They're all catching up now. Spring onions that I've planted between the street lamps, they're doing well, but I'm not planting anymore because I've got all the onions to eat. And... Uh, this is the splashback. That would have gone all over the lettuces. That's why I use the lampshades, the lamp covers. Happy gardening to you all. Another long episode, but lots going on. Take care, my friends. Till next time. Try for now.